What's up guys, I'm Nathan Animal Adventures and today I'm going to be doing a video that was requested by somebody. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hold an Anole. So this is my Anole tank, I've got my green Anole and my brown Anole in here. So yeah, I'm going to be pulling them out. I'm going to show you guys how to hold them safely without hurting the animal. Uh, but before I start, I want to make a note. If you are looking for a first reptile, if you're a beginner or whatever, and you want to buy a reptile, and you want a reptile that you can hold a lot, uh, Anole is not necessarily your best bet. They are more observatory animals. I mean, you can hold them without hurting them, but they're not quite like um, a leopard gecko, something you can just pull out and let it sit on your hand. Now, if you um, if you pull one out, you just let it sit there, it'll be gone, it'll take off. Uh, and then they can be tricky to catch sometimes if you don't know what you're doing. But um, yeah, also, if that ever happens to you, I have a whole video on how to catch a green Anole. You can go find that out. So yeah, I think that's about it. So I think we can dive in now. So, the first step is grabbing your lizard. So, he's up here at the top, but he can be really fast when he doesn't want to be grabbed. Got him this now. is kind of how you want to hold a green anole. You just want to have one finger underneath, your thumb on top. Do not apply too much pressure. Blind pressure can break a backbone or to squish them and be really painful. No, just apply it just enough pressure to keep them from squirming out. That's all you need. Um, now, they might try to bite you a little bit, you can see. Uh, these guys will bite, but they're not really strong enough to do anything. Like, it would have never had my skin even close to being cut by one of these. But they do bite. Um, yeah, it really isn't too bad though, so that might happen. But um, you can see he doesn't like to be held. There. So it's not going to hurt the animal. Not something they particularly like. But if you need to hold it out to show it to somebody. Or for any reason cleaning the tank. Whatever. This is how you want to do it. But see, there he goes. See that's when you're not paying attention. And you're releasing too much pressure. That's what happens. Um, but yeah. Once again they're not necessarily the animal that loves to be held. Not like a gecko. Or anything like that. No they'll try to get out of there. But um. They can be held if you want to, if you want to take a close look at it, whatever. Put it back, just opening your cage and putting them inside. Well guys, there you have it. That's how to hold a green and all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Um, yeah. You know, green and all are pretty hardy, I think. So if you make a few mistakes when you're holding them, don't worry too much. Of course, you don't want that to happen, that's all I'm saying. But if it does happen, you don't need to worry too much. That's all. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.